So you have a Chromebook and you would like it to be connected to your wireless printer. Now I ran into some issues trying to figure out how this whole thing works with a Chromebook since you don't have the same options as a regular PC or a Mac has. So one of the coolest options um, you have is to use Google Cloud Print. Now it took me a while to figure this out but it's actually very straightforward. Um, uh, as a, an example printer, I'll be using the Brother MFC J470DW as um, the printer, and it is Google Cloud compatible. Now, the first thing you're going to do is settings in your Google Chrome. Go to advanced settings. And on the bottom here, Google Cloud Print. You're going to click, click manage, and then click add printer. What this is going to allow you to do is um, connect to your Google account and make sure you're logged in. Once you got that first step done, we're going to move on to the next step. Now, Google Cloud Print essentially allows you to print over the internet. It's not really using um, your, you know, Wi-Fi per se, but you could be anywhere in the world and you could print um, using Google Cloud Print to your designated printer. Now, what you're going to do is log in into your router IP address. Um, I don't have that link open here, but um, what that's going to allow you to do is access your printer IP address. And once you click your printer IP address, a page like this should show up. And you're going to click on Google Cloud Print. And um, just follow the instructions there, and you should pretty much get it right away. Uh, it's just going to ask you to sign into your Google account and it's pretty much done. If you need any more help in terms of instructions, you can go here to um, uh, the Brother page and where is it? There it is, Google Cloud Print Guide. And you can download it and it's going to show you more thorough details in terms of how to install it. Now. This is an example based on the Brother printer. I'm pretty sure it applies to all other printers um, as well. Like I said, the main thing you need to do is just enter your printer's IP address and um, connect it using that. It should look like this. Uh, this tutorial is pretty sketchy. I don't have any of the um, details, but I thought at least it might give you some pointers in terms of um, getting started. I hope this was helpful um, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.